With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is 50 ml of 2 normal acetic acid is mixed with 10 ml of 1 normal sodium acetate solution. We will have an approximate pH of, now the value of pH is given to you as 10 to the power minus 5. Now you have acetic acid which is CH3COOH and then you have sodium acetate which is CH3COONA. Now acetic acid is a weak acid and if we talk about um, uh, sodium acetate, now this is the conjugate base of this acid or you can say it is the conjugate base or the salt which is formed by the combination of this weak acid and a strong base. Now such combinations are known as acidic buffers right so acidic buffer is formed when a weak acid combines with its conjugate base salt right so therefore uh, this is an acidic buffer according to the henderson equation for a buffer solution for an acidic buffer solution ph is calculated as ph is equal to pka plus log of the concentration of the salt which is ch3coona in this case divided by the concentration of the weak acid which is the concentration of the acetic acid. Now if we talk about uh, acetic acid which is CH3COOH you are given 2 normal acetic acid and 50 ml volume. Now 2 normal which means 2 molar only because if we talk about acetic acid its n factor is equal to 1 right because it gives only 1 H plus I so n factor is 1 which means that normality is equal to molarity. Okay, so it is 2 molar, 50 ml. So if we talk about the millimoles, what will be the millimoles? Molarity into the volume in ml, right? This will be 100 millimoles. Okay, and uh, similarly, if we talk about sodium acetate, which is CH3COONA, for this also you are given 1 normal and uh, 10 ml, right? So again, its normality will be equal to molarity only. Right, because for salts, the positive charge, the cationic charge gives the n factor. So here n is in plus one charge, therefore the n factor is going to be equal to one. So this is one molar 10 ml, which means that if we talk about the millimoles of acid sodium acetate, this will be 10 into 1, which is 10 millimoles. Okay, so therefore pH will become pKa, which is now you are given Ka is equal to 10 to the power minus 5. Okay. So pK is equal to minus log of Ka which is 10 to the power minus 5. So minus log of 10 to the power minus 5 means 5. Okay. So 5 will be the value of pKa because this minus 5 will come in front and minus minus will become plus and log 10 is 1. So therefore pKa is 5. Okay plus log of the concentration of CH3COONA will be the millimoles divided by the volume right we are taking the volume in ml only that therefore we are taking the moles in millimoles right we talk uh, and if we talk about acetic acid then it has 100 millimoles right and the volume is again 50 so we can simply take the ratio of millimoles only so therefore pH becomes 5 plus log of not 10 by 100 means log of 1 by 10 okay log of 1 by 10 so ph becomes 5 plus log 1 minus log 10 right when it is in division then in log it's uh, it is subtracted therefore ph will be 5 plus log 1 is 0 log 10 is 1 so therefore the ph of the solution becomes equal to 4 right that's all for the question for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.